when you've decided that you want to start coding in Java, it's best that you pick the three basic tools to start with. The first tool that I use in the basic development of Java is Notepad. As you can see here, I've already got a Notepad opened with a sample of Java code written in. But if you go to your computer and you can't find Notepad, some kind, sometimes it can be quite tricky to find. The best way to go is go to the bottom left of the screen. In my case, because I'm Windows 8, I would right click. If you're Windows 7 or earlier, you would left click and bring up this menu. You can see Run. Click on Run and in the command line, put in Notepad. And there you can see that opens up Notepad. That gives you a Notepad. The other tool is the command line interface. Now the command line interface, again, you can access it from several menus, but the easiest way to explain is again by going to the bottom left, going to the start menu, clicking run, and this time entering CMD, and this opens up the command line interface. Now the command line interface, this is where you, you enter all your Java operating commands once you've written a program in Notepad, you would enter in here the commands to compile and then to run that Java program. This is the easiest way to, to do it when you're first starting off. You can get more complicated programs that uh, companies make, which actually gives you an environment where when you enter your code, it actually fixes your code at the same time as you're actually coding. But this detracts from the learning process when you're using the command line interface um, when you have a problem with your code all the errors come up in the command line interface and you can correct it from all the error codes that uh, come up on your screen we will close this down the third and the most important tool is the JDK which is the Java development kit now to get to the Java development kit you have to download it from the internet from Oracle's website or from Sun Microsystems. So we go on to the internet. I have already got Google search here. So in the Google search we would put JDK 1.8 and here we can see you've got Java SE Development Kit 8. Now you can get the development kit for 7 and 6 and previous versions of Java but the latest one is the Java Development Kit 8 so you want to pick number 8 also, there's the Java SE. You want to make sure that's the Java Standard Edition development kit that you're getting and not the Java EE, which is the Engineering Edition. So we click on the SE development kit and it takes us to this web page. Again, you can see Java SE development kit, eight downloads. We go to this menu here and we accept the license agreement. You can see here we've got all our different operating systems that you can download this Java development kit onto. But I'm running Windows 64 bit. You can see there's an option for Windows 86. Now Windows 86 is for the 32 bit operating system. But as I say, I'm Windows 64 because my computer has a 64 bit operating system. So I would click on the download for that. Here we can see that it asks us to run the program. So we begin the download. This takes some time. It can take up to 10 to 15 minutes depending on the speed of your computer. So I'll click on run and the download begins. Once the Java SE development kit has been downloaded, you will be presented with this box. You can see that it has got the Java SE development kit 8 update 60 64 bit setup. So we click on next because we want to download this onto our system. We want to choose all these, all these are already selected, and you can see the installation path is program files Java JDK 1.860, so that's correct, so we just click on next, and the download begins. Again, the download can take quite some time, depending on the speed of your processor and your computer. On the final part of the installation, you'll be presented with this window, which says next steps. Now when you open up this, this opens up an important window onto the internet. We click on next steps, and this opens up the uh, Java documentation website. This gives you all the information that you would ever need for your Java files 
for your Java programming, it's a good idea that you save this website to your favourites bar. You can see here I've already saved it to my favourites bar, but just it is an extra option. If you get stuck, you can go to this, uh, to the document doc documentation. You can see all the different jar, the different files that you would need to write Java with. Um, it is a really good page to have in your toolkit. So you can either save it or not. The decision's up to you. I will close this down. And you can close this. And that is the JDK has been downloaded into your system. Now to check that it has been put in to the proper file, you open up, we go to C, go to Program Files, Java, and there we can see the JDK 1.8. We open up that, we have all our, the files for the JDK. So we can close that down. So the JDK has been loaded to the correct uh, file on your system. Now that we have the JDK downloaded and installed onto our system, we need to check its functionality. In other words, we need to ensure that it can read, compile and run our Java programs. That is the Java code that we have written into our notepad files. I have left this as a discussion in another video. That video is titled Testing the JDK. I hope after watching this video it has been of some value to you. I've enjoyed making it and I hope you have enjoyed watching it. And I look forward to seeing you in one of my other videos. Thanks for watching and bye just now.